Welcome to the Sports Awards this year. Unfortunately, we can't be together in the auditorium, but I hope you're going to enjoy the Sports Awards just the same. Now, a reminder of how the format of the awards work. We have one player of the year for each activity, and then we have some character awards for each team. So the player of the year is the outstanding player in that particular activity, and the character award goes to those students on the team that have demonstrated resilience, discipline, high levels of enthusiasm and of course commitment to training as well and demonstrated all those character attributes that we expect at desk. After that we have the female and male team of the year which is always very hotly contested certainly amongst the staff. With so many successful teams at desk it really is a difficult job to try and choose the one so congratulations if you managed to get into that. We'll conclude the awards with sportsman and sportswoman of the year I really hope you enjoy them. It's a lovely chance to celebrate what's been a wonderful year of sport. We've really enjoyed watching you all wherever it's been and I hope you have a great time enjoying the awards. Good evening everybody at Dubai English Speaking College. Um, it's James Grayson here from Northampton Saints. Uh, I feel very privileged to be asked to give you a short speech about my school life and my sporting career to date. Um, so I will start from the beginning. Um, my school sport life was brilliant, loved every second of it, I loved trying out for all the different sports teams. I started um, in year seven, trying out for the rugby, football, basketball and cricket teams. Uh, to begin with, I didn't get into the rugby team, um, which was, as an 11 year old kid who wanted to be a professional rugby player, was absolutely devastating, but um, the story doesn't finish there. Uh, so, played all those sports from a young age, loved it. Basketball was probably my favourite, followed by rugby and then football. Um, but my parents were massive advocates in me trying everything. And those sports, without doubt, developed my professional rugby game now and managed to hone my skills through playing those sports. Um, the things that those sports taught me, apart from interacting with many different people, um, Footballers are a lot different to rugby players and rugby players are a lot different to basketball players so it meant that I got to spend time in an environment where I was surrounded by different teams and learning how different teams work, different coaches. Um, some coaches are more uh, will criticise you more than others. Um, some will put an arm around you and, and understanding these different coaches and the players and how to talk to your teammates uh, helped me massively and I would without doubt say to any young sportsman who wants to be a professional rugby player or a professional cricketer or whatever it might be, play as many sports at school as you can. Um, I'll just give you a little overview about what I have done in my rugby career. Um, I started playing rugby when I was four. Um, my granddad took me down to the local rugby club and, and let me run free for a couple of years, which the coaches probably didn't enjoy, but I certainly did. Um, and then going through playing school rugby, uh, I managed to get picked up by Northampton Saints Academy. Um, I wasn't playing in my position that I wanted to. My schoolmaster moved me around a little bit to try and make me understand the way that rugby should be played and that it's not a game just for me. Um, so I played a little bit of scrum half and I played fullback for a little bit and then eventually kind of migrated into playing fly half where I play now for Northampton Saints. Um, after getting picked up by the Saints Academy, I tried out for the Midlands. Um, the England split into four, the North of England, the Midlands, South East and South West. So I tried out for the Midlands and unfortunately the Midlands didn't want me. So that was a little bit of a stab in the heart as a 16 year old kid who was destined to play rugby in my mind, but the team that I tried out for didn't want me. So uh, the North of England, they were short of a fly half. Um, so I went up the road a little bit and played for them. Um, and then when it came to playing against the Midlands, we smashed them and I ended up getting picked for England ahead of the kids that got picked for the Midlands. So that just shows that one route isn't necessarily the only way. There's plenty of other routes um, to get to where you want to go. Uh, then managed to play in two under 20s World Cup finals. Um, unfortunately lost both of them. First one was to New Zealand, um, that was a humbling experience there, an immense side um, and just to see their culture and the way they 
they behave on and off the field was pretty was pretty amazing. And then last year, um, unfortunately, lost to France in France. But again, another unbelievable experience to play in front of twenty five thousand French people rooting and going for their team, and they absolutely hated us. So that was an incredible experience as well. Um, now I'm lucky enough to be a professional rugby player at Northampton Saints. Um, I'm, I've just signed a two-year contract and I hopefully will, after these two years, sign another one and kick on a little bit more at the Saints. Um, in terms of training and applying yourself on the practice field as well as on the, the game field on a Saturday, um, one of the greatest trainers I've ever witnessed is Dan Bigger. He is a Wales fly half, British and Irish fly, Lions fly half and he's Northampton Saints fly half as well at the moment with me um, and there is no surprise why he is one of the world's best because the way that guy trains you've never seen anything like it. So one tip I could give any young up-and-coming sportsman be it basketball, hockey, tennis, golf, football, cricket, whatever it might be, lacrosse, Apply yourself on the training field every day. Um, work hard. Take criticism on board because there will be plenty of it, plenty of it along the way. Um, and enjoy it. Most of all, enjoy it. Drive the standards of your team. And um, yeah, I'm sure you'll get to where you want to go. So again, thank you very much for asking me to say a few words. I feel very privileged. Um, and well done to all the winners tonight. Cheers. Hi, my name is Misha and I've been a part of the Desk Swim team for three enjoyable years. This season was great for Desk with many medals won and enjoyable moments at DASA and other school galas. Both A and B teams performed exceptionally and to their best efforts with the help of our coaches Mr Killian, Mania and Kieran at Desk and Oaks who gave me the opportunity to swim for the best sports school in Dubai and perform as well as I did. Hi everyone, this is under 60 swim team did extremely well, always finishing the top three at the DASA galas. My highlight of the year from the 60 swim squad will be that there was numerous students who had to cancel or miss other events to partake in the DASA Galas. I just want to say thank you for that. Thank you for a great year and let's aim to perform even better next year. This is on the 60 swimmers of the year with the most consistent performers throughout the year. Well done to Ahmed Abdul Sadak and Noor Kamash for being named best male and best female swimmers of the year. This year's character award goes to four students who are always improving. Well done to Matisse Bath and Annabelle Farrington Knight for the A team and to Daniel Garaboli and Lily Doubt for the B team. I'm Sammy Burns and in this year's Sports Award I managed to win the uh, Player of the Season Award for Aquathon as well as the Senior Sportsman of the Year. And as an endurance athlete I can say just how important resilience and commitment can be when thriving for success in sports and in this case Aquathon. I put in countless hours into training and used to wake up before school hours to try and prove myself as an athlete. For every Aquathon event hosted during this season, I would come out of the swim close to 10th place, but with the commitment and resilience, I never saw myself as out of the race, and I would come all the way up to first place after the run. This is just one of many examples of how these attributes can help any athlete to succeed. The under 16s had a great Aquathon season, and there were some brilliant performances from a number of individuals. This year's Male Character Award goes to Luke, for always giving 100% in training and at competitions with a smile on his face. His attendance at training is exemplary and he worked hard to improve his times in both the run and the swim. Well done, Luke. Hi, I'm Megan and I've had the pleasure of competing in the DAS Across Country and Aquathon series on behalf of DASC since I was in year seven. These events take part in the beautiful grounds of Bashi School for Boys, and whilst the swim for the Aquathon is obviously down in the pool, the running course takes you across varied terrain rather than just running on a road or a track. 
Don't be put off by the stories that your parents have competing in cross country from when they were younger. We are so lucky that in Dubai there is no cold, rain or mud involved, so it's a really lovely event. The aspect I most enjoy about cross country is although it is a race that you take part in individually, the competition itself is as a team. So there is a great camaraderie amongst the runners to do their best for each other. Also, unlike some other sports where you travel to events in your age group, this is one where every year competes on the same day, so you travel as a squad. I remember looking up to and being guided by some of the older students only a few years ago, and before I knew it, I was one of them. I really enjoyed mixing with the younger students, doing warm up laps, and looking over the route with them while hopefully settling some nerves. I have some really fond memories from the cross country events. Good luck. I'm here to talk about cross country and the roundup for the under 15s this season. We've had two events across country, one in December, which was a team event at Rashid School for Boys, which was a relay style event with four members in each team. We actually had the most teams that entered out of any school. The second event was the individual one that took place in January and was also at Rashid School for Boys. Both fantastic events with hundreds and hundreds of people from across the bike competing. I know that for many of our athletes, cross country is not their priority sport, especially at this age group. Uh, but it is really important that we represent that across all sports very, very well at desk. And I'm really happy with how well we've done that cross country this year. So thank you to everyone that's participated, particularly those that have had to have their arms twisted this year. I'd also like to thank Mr. Gardner, Miss Kerastos and Miss Small, who have run the, the running club each week after school throughout the year and also gave up their time to help at the events as well. Now for the awards. I'm going to do the female awards first and the female runner of the season goes to someone who is an extremely accomplished runner outside of school. She competes to a very high level outside of school but always represents desk with pride. She came second overall in the individual event, a fantastic achievement this year. The under 15 runner of the season goes to Kerith Dingle. The character award for the under 15 girls goes to someone who represented Desk with an extremely positive attitude, always with a smile um, and encouraging those people around her. This year's character award for the under 15 girls goes to Shauna O'Neill. And for the boys, the runner of the year for the under 15 boys this year, again, is someone who is, is a very good runner and, and competes outside of school in this sport. It was absolutely fantastic to see him compete this year in, in such a close event for the individual category. And he managed to get on the podium, achieving second place overall in a great amount of runners. Extremely well done. This year's runner of the season for the under 15 boys goes to Oliver Demain. And the character award goes to someone that's new to representing desk in cross country but he's been extremely committed to attending the running club and improving his time it's an absolute pleasure to have at the events this year's character award goes to jay leong well done to all of the winners and everyone that's competed this year thank you Aman Anwar and I've uh, been on the tennis team since year seven. I've been proud to represent Desk uh, for tennis and we, our biggest accomplishment as a tennis team is that we won the under 18's DASA tournament two years in a row. In order to become a good tennis player you need perseverance and character. You also need to work hard every day and one final message for all the tennis players is Good luck to all of you guys for the upcoming years. The award for player of the year at under 16 level is somebody who has worked incredibly hard on their game and developed so well over the years since year seven. And every year that we've entered him into DASA, he has won the tournament and come away with a trophy. He's really developing his character on court and we are so pleased to say that the player of the year this year, under 16, is Hadi Tabet. Fantastic. Well done, Hadi. My name is 
Southampton though. I was delighted to be chosen for the Golf Senior Character Award this year. I started playing golf about two years ago. To begin with, it was quite hard and frustrating. However, with practice and determination, I've been able to improve my game and I really enjoy it. I spend any spare time I can on the golf course. Playing golf at desk has helped me take my game to the next level due to the competitive environment it creates. It was great to be able to play for the school. I was part of the golf team and I really enjoyed this and hope to do the same next year when I go into sixth form. I would like to congratulate all the winners for golf this year. My advice to you all would be to practice as much as you can, keep going even when it can be frustrating, enter as many tournaments as you can as it improves your game. Trust in yourself and have confidence that you can do it. The great thing with golf is that you only have yourself to rely on. Most of all, have fun. It is a fantastic game. Hello everyone, Mr Hobday here. Well, it's been an excellent season for the desk at golf this year until we were rudely interrupted by the coronavirus pandemic. We had a healthy number of students attending the Golf ECA every week at Jamira Golf Estates, and we had two teams entered into the Dubai Schools Golf League. Straight on to the awards for the under 15s, the player of the year goes to Harvey Pipikakis. Harvey put his heart and soul into golf this year. He really worked hard and he's really improved his, his golf and I'm sure we'll be seeing him playing for the school team next year. The Character Award is a joint award for Harnul Abel and Gordon Lemmer. Both these boys attended the ECA every week. They really worked hard on their game and both of them have really improved over the season and we expect those two boys to be representing the school next year as well. So congratulations to our award winners for the under 15 golf team. The under 16 award goes to a young man who played for the team, uh, played exceptionally well and has really improved his golf this year. And that young man is Max Hibbert. So congratulations, Max, well done and keep working on that golf swing of yours. The character award goes to a young man who's attended every single ECA session this year and he's really improved his game and uh, the congratulations must go to Joshua Schultz. So well done Joshua, keep working on your golf and I'm sure you'll be representing the school uh, at the golf very soon. Congratulations to our under 16 golf award winners. Thank you. Hello, I'm Hannah Sultan and today I'm going to be talking about my highlights for the under-16 basketball team. I'd like to thank Ms. Hilderly for always giving us an opportunity to train and improve and for also being the best coach you could have asked for. I'd like to thank the girls for always showing determination and never giving up on court. I'd have to say my highlight of the season would be when we played JC. We had started off on the wrong foot and we were losing by 10 points. However, we came, as, we came together as a team and showed determination and said we were not going to give up. Unfortunately, we had lost that game by two points, but when I looked at the girls, I, I saw that we were all happy for each other because we knew we had tried our best. Thank you. The under-16 girls basketball team played in the competitive Dasa League in October and November. The most nail-biting game was against the strong JC side, with the final score being just two points difference. Many players in the squad specialise in a range of different sports, but I'd like to thank you guys for remaining committed to basketball this season. I really enjoyed our training sessions and our matches together, seeing your shooting consistency improve and seeing you learn from Coach Josh's vast tactical experience. Now on to the awards. This year's player of the season goes to a basketball specialist. Her passion for the sport was evident from the very first trial and her technical ability makes her one of the most talented female basketballers I have seen in my time at desk. It was a pleasure to watch her plough through opposition and score the occasional three-point shot in our games. Well done to Sarah Forrester. This year's character award goes to another talented player. Her work rate was always impressive and I have particularly fond memories of watching her score a free throw and the disbelief that followed on her face. An example of her modesty which is an endearing quality. Well done to Olivia Petricola.
Hi everyone, uh, my name is Arnold Abel. I hope everyone's doing good, and I'm here to talk about the boys under 16 basketball. To start off with, I just want to say thank you to all the players this season. You guys were amazing. Your mindset and your mentality was, was incredible as well, even though we didn't get the results that we were expecting. I would say the highlight of this season was the team's mentality. Even if we suffered a loss the previous night, the next day during training, you guys would be hardworking, determined, persistent. It was like the loss never happened or even if it did, it didn't phase you. Um, thank you for the staff that has been supporting us, especially Mr. Mills and Josh from PSSA. You guys taught the team a lot of knowledge and hopefully we can use this knowledge next year to get a better season. Thank you, everyone. Hi, everyone. It's been a pleasure to be the head coach for the under 16 team this year and it's been impressive to see the commitment shown by all the boys. The under 16 basketball season had its ups and downs, but all the players heavily committed to training. They showed real progress by the end of the season, gelling well and using set plays to their advantage with the assistance of Coach Josh. The attitude and character shown by all the players this season was second to none. They were always cheerful and took the positives from every game. I'd like to thank the players for inspiring each other and being one of the most upbeat and enjoyable coaching experiences I've had for basketball. On to the awards. The player of the season this year has an extremely good rebound capability and his counter-attacks were unstoppable. By the end of the season, he was our top point scorer. So congratulations to our player of the year, Alex Kotarenchenko. This person didn't actually play in any games this year due to injury, but turned up to every session early and would help coach the younger age group basketball teams. He also manned the score table at every home fixture not only for the, his own team, but for some of the female fixtures also. He is the epitome of what Character Award is all about at desk. Congratulations to Harnul Abel. My name is Ayush. I'm going to tell you about the wonderful season we've had playing cricket this year at desk. This year, we've seen a massive increase in the amount of players coming to training as well as matches. We've also seen a big increase in the potential in each and every one of our players. All our games have been really good and exceptional because of the help we have received from Mr. Mills and Mr. Riding. Throughout the year, we've had numerous training sessions and all the hard work we've put in these have been shown off in the matches. We've seen an improvement in batting, bowling and all other aspects of the game. A major standout this year would definitely be the matches that we've played that were friendly because we've seen a great play of cricket in these. I would like to conclude by saying thank you to whoever has made this year's cricket fix here as possible. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome to Desk at the 15 Cricket Awards. I'd like to congratulate the boys for their dedication to training this season. Unfortunately, due to ECB clashes, we were unable to have any fixtures, but nonetheless, these boys contributed massively to the senior cricket team. The Character Award goes to a player who had some unbelievable bowling performances for the senior team this year. Congratulations to Darsh Gunani. The Player of the Year goes to a player who's always helping out, absolutely loves his cricket, and fantastic to see him getting behind the crease and having some sterling performances for the senior team. Congratulations to the player of the season, Ayush Monga. Thank you very much. Throughout this year, Under-16 Netball has definitely been a huge highlight. Highlight of the week, always something to look forward to. Um, all the girls in all five teams, A, B, C, D and E, have all played a huge part in the at netball in desk. Always supporting each other from the sidelines, which is amazing. Always encouraging everyone to just try their best. A huge highlight would definitely be the DAFA tournament, as all the teams, all five teams, had the opportunity to participate, which was amazing. No matter the outcome of every game, everyone was supporting each other, watching each other, just being there for each other on and off the netball court. Overall, I'd just like to thank all the coaches and like teachers for helping us on our training, on our games, on the court, off the court, for everything you guys do is truly amazing. From training, 
early mornings, early mornings to training after school, everything is so much appreciated and Nebo is definitely something to look forward to next year, so thank you. Hi to all of the under 16 desk netball players. Five teams we had this year, and I just want to start off by saying a massive well done to each and every one of you. You have trained hard and you played even harder. We have had some great results this year, even though the season was unfinished, we've had some fantastic achievements. Your coaches have been so proud of what you achieved. Your attitude to training was exemplary. And I just want to say a massive, massive well done and congratulations for this season. Well done and I'm going to pass you over now to Miss Mason for the awards. The Under 16 Netball Awards. The overall Under 16 Player of the Year goes to Charlotte Clark. The Character Award for the Under 16 A Team goes to Emily Eglin. For the B Team, Brooke Bowker Douglas. The C Team, Nana Corti, D Team, Mariam Mufa. And for the E Team, Anna Coombs. The season for the Anna 15 boys was a great season. The players showed great commitment and dedication to both teams. Uh, both teams were playing a year above their ages, which was difficult, but proved to be a great experience. One of the highlights of this season was against DC, where we were 3-0 down and came back to draw 3-3. I would like to thank both coaches from the AMB team for a great successful season, especially Mr Foster, who helped us out a lot. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Isaac Foster, and I play for the boys on the 16 football team at DES. Firstly, the whole team and I would like to say a massive thank you to Ms Aikman, who has coached us throughout the year. My highlight of the year has to be playing against DC away, which really motivates the whole team to play better and really work for each other. Although we didn't get the win we deserved, it was a great experience for the whole team. <coughs> Finally, uh, I would like to say a massive thank you to all the players who played in the team this year, and I'm looking forward to playing again next season. Good evening everyone, it's a pleasure to be here and to present the Under-15 Football Awards for this season. Mr McGuigan and Mr Blanche have really enjoyed coaching the Under-15B football team. They've mentioned to me that their commitment to training was absolutely fantastic and they applied themselves on the field. Their highlight of the season was the 6-2 victory against DIA Albasha at home. I've had the pleasure of coaching the under-15 A football team this season and we were going to come up against some tough opposition as we were playing against most of uh, the other schools under-16 A teams in Division 3. Our first game of the season we came up against the very physical Kings Albasha team. The boys tried to match them physically um, and we managed to get a 1-1 draw. Moving on from that, the boys adapted their style of football, got back to playing their style of football, passing game, um, and we took teams apart for the remainder of the season and we managed to finish third in a very competitive league. On to the award winners. The Under 15B Character Award goes to a young man who's fully committed to training. He always helps to get the balls and the cones out ready for the sessions, and we've seen some fantastic performances from him on the field. So well done to Louis Simonite. The Under 15A Character Award goes to a student who, again, is committed to training, is always there for the lads, he helps with the team sheet, and again on the field, he's adaptable. He'll play in any position that you ask him, ask him to play, and he's a delight to coach. Well done to James Aubrey. Finally then, the under 15 player of the season goes to our wing back. He's feisty in attack, he gets forward, he causes opposition's problems when he gets forward on the ball and he's also a fantastic defender. He's had to adapt, play centre back and left back this season and we wish him all the best in his football career. It goes to Riley Joyce. Well done boys. Mr Eamon here to talk about the boys under 16's football. Huge thank you to the boys across both teams. Um, really enjoyed the season. Um, on the pitch, we showed a lot of heart, a lot of determination, and off the pitch, had a great laugh too. Highlight of the season for the B team was our uh, away win against EIS Meadows, in which we came back from a goal down in order to win 3-1. Uh, for the A team, highlight of the season has got to be our first home game, in which we won 10-1 against DIA, scoring some absolute bangers along the way. And in both games, showed what we can do when we approach the game with the right attitude, with the right spirit. 
Moving on to the awards. The character award for the B team on behalf of Mr. Riding goes to a player who showed an excellent attitude throughout the season, put in some excellent performances from start to finish, and that player is Kazi Ashraf. For the A team, the character award goes to our midfield general, a player who's been extremely consistent, showed a great attitude, and has gone from strength to strength throughout the season. That player is Dylan Katanch. Our player of the season is our captain, an extremely versatile player who plays at the back but sometimes lends his hands in midfield. Um, he scored goals this season, he could probably play up front if he wanted to as well. An extremely talented footballer that goes to Isaac Foster. Well done boys, see you next year. Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Hibbert and I'm the captain for the girls under 16 football team. On behalf of all of the players, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Miss Roxburgh who has pushed us to be our best and helped us grow as a team, as well as to all the other coaches who have helped us along the way. This year we've had more girls than ever try out and we've been so lucky to see so many talented players and have two very successful teams. One of my highlights of the year has been playing at the DASA Cup at Repton. We made it through to the final to play Jess. It was a very close game, but the girls put on their best performance and tried so hard to come out with a win of 2-0. This was our fifth year running of winning the DASA Cup. We were all very proud of ourselves and were so thankful to have Miss Roxburgh there to coach us. I hope that the girls' football continues to grow and that we were as successful next year as we were this year. Thank you. Hi there, I hope you're all keeping well. I'd first like to start by saying a huge thank you to the parents of the under 16 girls football team. Your support at all of the fixtures, both home and away this season, have been really appreciated. We couldn't have done it without you. I'd second like to thank Miss Carr and Mr Mirza for their support with the under 16 B girls football team. They took them to the fixtures and coached all of their sessions. Thank you. It's been a great season for both teams this year, finishing impressively in both of their leagues respectively. There were a group of talented individuals who competed for positions in both teams this year and there was a great turnout at the trials at the very start of the season. It's such a shame that we didn't get to finish our season as we would have liked, but I hope to see our current year 11s breaking into the senior team next year and I hope to see our current year 10s leading the way in the under 16 girls league next year. As we move on to our awards, we firstly look at the player of the season. This player has matured and developed massively as a player. They are an encouraging individual, they have extreme levels of fitness and they're happy to put a tackle in when it really counts. The player of the year for the under 16 girls football team is Hannah Sultan. Congratulations Hannah. As we move on to the character award, firstly we have the character award for the B team. This has been awarded to Emily Dwyer. Congratulations Emily. And finally, but not means by any means least, we have the character award for the A team. This has been awarded to Rebecca Hess. Congratulations Rebecca. Thank you all for a great season and I wish you all the very best for next year. Everybody, I'd just like to say thank you to the coaches and the parents for all the support they ran into our team this season. The season got off to a rough start, um, but the boys managed to pull it back. We went undefeated in both leagues in the 15th season. My highlight of the year would be both teams winning the DC10s, as it was nice to see the boys celebrate all their hard work and all their achievements, and obviously we cannot forget about the clean sweep. The season was unfortunately cut short, however the boys are working hard now and we're all looking forward to the season next year. I'd just like to say a special thank you to Mr. Riding, Mr. Cliff, Mr. Killian and Mr. Gerber for helping the boys on and off the field no matter what it was and turning the rugby team into a family rather than just a team. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, welcome to the Under 16's Rugby Awards. Uh, this season has unfortunately been cut short due to COVID-19, however, I am thoroughly enjoyed coaching such a talented group of boys. Highlights of the season definitely be playing against Dubai College in the 15s, scoring one of the best trials I've ever seen in the 16s. Um, I'd like to go into the character awards. Um, 
for the B team, I'm going to start off with a player who has been extremely dedicated, attending uh, the lunchtime sessions with Mr. Killian. He's improved massively and has always been willing to play wherever the coaches need him. Congratulations to Max Allen Paper. For the A team character award goes to a player who has been unbelievable in his defence, leading by example and always being the first person to get stuck in. Congratulations to Murray Lowe. Moving on to the player of the season, this is a player who is a fundamental part of the engine room. He leads from the front, got fantastic hands, and in his past life will definitely be in the back. Congratulations to the one and only Joshua Fritz. Thank you very much. season began on a high when many of us were lucky enough to attend the senior sports camp in Abu Dhabi where we stayed two nights giving us the opportunity to develop our skills as a team and the platform to build friendships from the very start of the season. Um, after two days of training we played our first contact game as a team and we came away with a win against BSAC which was a great plus to the trip. However the ultimate highlight for many of us I would say is the Dubai Sevens where we were lucky enough as younger players to step up and play senior which we wouldn't usually get the chance to do. Um, it was such an amazing opportunity for all of us girls and it was such a memorable experience. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to Mr. Cliff on behalf of all the girls in the team for his continued passion for girls rugby. Um, without his dedication and commitment, we would never be where we are today um, as we're the only school in Dubai with contact rugby, so thank you. Hi there everyone, I hope you're all enjoying the awards. To speak about this group of girls in under two minutes and do them justice is impossible. I can't overstate the impact that these girls have had on rugby at desk, also girls rugby in Dubai and the Middle East. They have paved the way and laid stepping stones for future generations of rugby players at desk to be able to play non-contact and contact rugby at desk, being the only school in Dubai to do so. They're definitely going to pave the way for themselves in the future to leave a lasting mark on girls rugby at desk as well because of their brilliant dedication and commitment to rugby and getting better as people and players each and every time they can do. The character they have displayed and the way they have managed to get, make sure that their identity shines through their performances has been something that's been a genuine privilege to be a part of and I'm really proud of being working with these girls for as many years as we have done. I know they're going to have a lasting impact in the future and I'm really excited to be part of it. Some of the highlights for me were seeing the girls play at Dubai 7s, BSAC 7s and Desk 7s Again, doing so with such competency across a range of skills and making sure that they worked hard, not just for themselves, but for each other. Having to drag players off the field at Dubai 7s under the lights was something that was really emotional to watch because again, they just displayed exactly what it means to play for desk and we're so proud of them. As I know the families are, who have also been a real joy to work with this year with such a tight-knit group of people. So thank you to everyone involved for a wonderful season. The girls also managed to step up with the Dasa Touch season and the Super Sixes. So these girls just aren't limited to contact. They're also exceptional touch players. And once again, it's been really fun to work with people who get the game and have continued to improve their awareness as the season's gone on, leading some brilliant performances and enjoyable coaching sessions. So thank you. For the players of the year, we've got multiple awards. To try and acknowledge those who could commit to contact and those who could commit to contact and touch rugby. For the contact players, we've had some brilliant performances, but a standout player of the year was Eve Robinson, due to her dedication and commitment and determination in defence. Some of the hits she put in this year were frightening to see, and I'm really excited to see what she can do in the future. The other player of the year goes to Lauren Hibbert, who's managed to perform extremely well across touch and contact rugby. Her maturity and leadership and composure this year has been brilliant and I know that she's going to be a leader long into the future if she manages to maintain that positive attitude that she's had. So well done girls. For the Character of the Year awards, the first one goes to Zoe Brock who's managed to display brilliant determination and composure and maturity as the year's gone on, leading to her developing into an extremely good player, someone who the girls can always rely on and she's always stepping up, making sure that she takes on challenges and never backing down. So well done Zoe. The final Character of the Year award goes to Olivia Stone. Olivia's played exceptionally well across Super Sixes, Contact Rugby and the Data Touch competition. Always working the hardest to make sure the girls can play as well as they can do and making sure that 
every single one around her is becoming the best player they can be because Olivia knows that's exactly what it means to be to play for desk, helping those around you as well as performing to your best. We've had a fantastic season and I'm extremely excited for what the future holds. So well done again girls and well done to the award winners. Hello, my name is Alistair Hess and at this year's Senior Sports Awards I won the Golf Character Award as well as the 2019-2020 Principals Award. Taking a multi-sport approach to my school years has been important to me as it's allowed me to gel with groups of friends in those different teams as well as enjoy the respected sports for their own characteristics. It has allowed me to understand both winning and losing in team and individual sports with your teammates around you, supporting you, as well as being all on your own and being mentally against yourself. Taking such an approach has allowed me to gain the confidence both in the classroom and on the sports fields to leave my comfort zone. Who would have thought in my younger years I'd have such a passion for golf? Playing such a variety of sports has allowed me to develop strengths in which have turned me into the athlete I am today. One piece of advice I'd like to leave you on is to grasp every opportunity Desk provides to you. They couldn't have done any more for me and I can't thank them enough. I want to say a big congratulations to all the winners this evening across all sports. Well done. Hi everyone, this year's team of the year for the under 16 girls goes to a very special group of students who are talented across every position in their team, ranging from goalkeeper to striker. They finished the season unbeaten in all three of their major competitions, in the DASA League, the DASA Cup and the Sevens competition. Unfortunately they were unable to finish the DASA Cup due to current circumstances, but Miss Roxburgh and the girls themselves are very confident that they would have taken away the treble. These girls were extremely supportive of each other, often stepping out of their comfort zone to cover positions that are not their own, and, and thus able to gel together as a team and be as successful as they were. Your coaches are very proud of you, your parents are very proud of you, I'm sure. So it's my pleasure to announce this year's Under 16 Girls Team of the Year to the Football A Team. Congratulations girls and thank you to all the support that has been given throughout the season. Hi everyone, it's my pleasure to award this year's Under 16 Boys Team of the Year. This team was made up of some excellent students who show great commitment to training and the ability to push themselves beyond their capabilities and their comfort zones. They always train hard pushing themselves and their teammates beyond their limits. They challenge each other every day, not only on the field, but off the field also as friends. They went undefeated in their respective leagues and cups, so they had a perfect season. Not only this, they seem to have played a calibre of rugby that has not been seen before in Dubai. They played with fluency, with precision and accuracy, and it was a joy to watch. Your rugby coaches are extremely proud of you and the young men that you have become. It is my pleasure to award this year's Team of the Year to the Under 16A Boys Rugby Team. Congratulations gentlemen and thank you to your parents and all of those that have shown support throughout the season. Firstly, it's a thank you from all of us in the PE and Sports Department for your energy that you bring as a year group to training sessions and competitive fixtures. Your positivity is infectious and we are genuinely looking forward to working with you again. You have all grown as individuals, some of you have found your specialist sport for the future and impressively many of you have continued to commit yourselves to a myriad of sports. Well done and thank you for your contributions this year. Now on to Sportswoman of the Year. This young lady is an all-rounder. She excels on the football pitch where she dominates the midfield with her excellent work rate and ability to read the game and make quick decisions. 
She has developed as a netball player this year, showing her more competitive nature and newfound confidence on court. She is now beginning to be feared by many opposing attacking players as she blocks shots regularly and rarely misses a rebound. Her presence on the basketball court has a positive effect on her team as she encourages others, shares possession and is not afraid to step up to a challenge when required. She is a polite and respectful young lady who is keen to learn and do her best for the desk team she is representing. She is popular amongst the opposition in Dubai due to her unfailing sportsmanship displayed and her growing competitive performances. It gives me great pleasure to award the Under-16 Sportswoman of the Year to Megan Rose. Under-16 Sportswoman of the Year. This young man has balanced his sports and academics very well and is a superb student in GCSE PE. He has performed across football, rugby and athletics. He is well known for his speed and his 100 metre on, on sports festival was definitely a highlight. Staff also mentioned his character, manners and willingness to take on board advice, make him a pleasure to coach. He's a multi-sport athlete who is a great role model to younger students. Congratulations to Under-16 Sportsman of the Year, Zayn Alam. Hi, I really hope you enjoyed the Sports Awards. It was lovely to see Alistair and his views on desk sport. I think he's got some great advice there and I really hope you can grasp all the opportunities and get yourself involved in as many sports as possible while you're at desk. And uh, Alistair also got into golf late, so it's never too late to try something new and get out of your comfort zone. A big thank you to all the captains and role models for contributing to the ceremony and a huge congratulations to all our winners. But most importantly, well done for everyone who was involved with sport this year. I really look forward to seeing you grow as people and sportsmen and women on the pitch, in the pool and on the courts next year. I do think we have the best parents and supporters in Dubai and I'm really looking forward to seeing you all on the sidelines in the not too distant future. Take care everyone.